Now, my next guest's first taste of fame came when she won a Swedish talent show, aged just 10 years old. Look at her, angel. <laughs> Since then, still an angel, Zara Larsson has gone on to release some of the most popular songs of the last decade. Brilliant, isn't it? Congratulations, Thank Zara, you. on everything you have achieved. Yes. When you look back at that video yeah. of you as a 10-year-old singing, was it Celine Dion? Mm -hmm. My heart will mm -hmm. go on. Yeah. Can we have a little That's listen it. to this powerhouse? <laughs> You did that age 10. <laughs> Honestly, now when I look at it, it's because it's such a long time ago. It's it's like a different person. You know, it's like my little, I'm watching like my little sister or something, and I feel really proud. And um, I remember I was so nervous, so, so nervous. But I've always wanted to be on stage. I've always wanted to be a singer ever since I can remember. So can so. I ask when you started, uh, obviously in 2017, your album went absolutely huge, you know, and that's yeah. where you sort of came to everybody's yeah. sort of sound playlist, you know, yeah. that's where you popped through for everybody. Um, but was there a pressure to go into ballads? Because obviously that's where you became famous, mm. but obviously what you do is mm. really fun mm -hmm. pop. Yeah. yeah, I love pop, I love to dance. That's a big part of my shows and who I am as an artist. But I think ballads is just something that, is, is showcasing the vocals a lot. Because sometimes with pop songs, there's a lot of production, there's a lot of stuff happening, and I love all of that. But a ballad really allows you to, you know, focus on... Yes, it's a show-off, isn't it? You really it get is. to show off yes. in a ballad. <laughs> yeah. um, tell us about your new album, Venus. Yes, it's Venus. It's all about love. It's all about love. It's out now. I'm so excited about it. It's amazing. It's a beautiful collection of just really, really good songs. It has a little bit of everything, I and think. You know what I love? There's a song called, is it On My Love? Mm -hmm. But you, we showed a bit of it earlier. Yeah. Actually, you dedicate that song to your sister. Yeah. And this is your sister who's also an artist, isn't yes. she? Yeah, I think love is so broad. And it, of course, it could be romantic, which is Valentine's Day. But it could also be about your strong ties with, for me, like my sister is one of the strongest loves in my life. I am so thankful and happy that we have such a strong bond and uh, I just love her so deep. I'm so happy that she's my sister. Oh, it's such yeah. a wonderful experience that your yeah. best friend yeah. is also your sister. What it a really great is. blessing that is it in is. your life. Yeah. Um, so she's a musician as well. So yeah. what kind of, mu we, we, could we see a collaboration between the Larson sisters? I don't think she would want to collaborate with oh, me. I see. I'm not cool How enough rude. for her. I'm not cool enough for her. <laughs> You're not cool enough for her. <laughs> no. She's very particular. She's very like, you know, I think it's also like, she does her thing, I do my thing. She does R&B, doesn't yeah, she, Morgan? Yeah, we're than... very supportive of each other. She's in a, a group with her best friend. Colin. And it's interesting because people often think, you know, two sisters in the music business, you must have come from a musical family, but that's no, going to be further no, from the no. truth. Yeah. <laughs> what did your parents do? My parents, my mom's a nurse and my dad's in the military. So very non-creative. A non-showy off, just get on with the job type Absolutely. people. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then at the beginning of the video, I don't know if we've got it, we, it's all full of home video, isn't it, of yeah. you little ones here. Yeah. I mean, they <laughs> must have thought, where did these two creative beings pop out I from? I know, I know. It's so amazing, honestly, how that happened. But I feel like I was really just born to, to do this. It's gorgeous. I feel like I am just living my dream and now I'm going on tour, which is very exciting. And that's really where my heart's at. And also, of course, I know that you are, were you already a big fan of Eurovision before Sweden won? And of now course. it's going to be there this year. Sweden take, we take Eurovision very seriously. Do you? Very serious. Right, okay. I don't know how, for you guys, you just kind of send someone. Well, we Ollie have. Alexander, who you must have known yeah. from this, is going to be, I mean, yeah. this is a huge moment, actually, mm -hmm. to send a bona fide, massive mm -hmm. pop star out there. Mm -hmm. Of course, Sam Ryder did so well yes. from it. Oh, we so love Ollie, Ollie, So, okay, what, have you, would you like to be involved in Eurovision in Sweden, in your home country? You are a famous pop yeah. princess. Have you been asked? I would love to be a part of representing just the Swedish music industry Why because we have so many well we'll see we'll see we'll see if they yes if they you're available you're <laughs> available, available for yeah. that that is super and what do your parents make of all your success then because presumably you know for them it must be such a treat to see both their daughters fulfilling yeah. their ambitions it is they're really happy about it they just they're proud very supportive i mean my mom now i'm 26 so i'm grown but i still have an amazing support team around me of course but like growing up my mom would just come with me everywhere 
Yeah. And they still do, you know, they're going to be on tour, they're going to see me and that. I think just like any other parent. Do they ever try to give you any advice? No. They just know to leave you alone, do they? Yeah, with that, <laughs> they're like, do your thing. They do, do your, your thing, thing. Yeah. they do your thing. Super. Uh, Zara, congratulations on all your success. Uh, you. Your album Venus is out now. Yes. It's about love for anybody, isn't for it? Anybody. Not just the romantic. No, it's very relatable. I think there's definitely Lovely. a song for everyone on there. It's, it's an amazing album. And you hit Manchester tomorrow. Absolutely. I love that city. Yeah. Have Me a good too. time. Thank you so nice much. Nice to see you.